Hello friends. In today's class, the topic which we are going to discuss mm -hmm. is surge voltage, their distribution and control. First of all, what is mean by a surge voltage? Surge voltage means a voltage which appears in the system, in the power system, due to sudden rise in the voltage. That is called as surge voltage. So let us understand its distribution and its control. The design of a power apparatus means the apparatus which works on the power supply or which consumes the power, electrical power, particularly at high voltages is governed by their transient behavior. The transient behavior means the change in the parameters from one point to the other or sudden change in the parameters due to sudden change in the voltage or current. The transient high voltages or surge voltages originate in power systems. The reasons behind the surge voltage is lightning and or switching operations. So whenever we have a lightning, which falls on the transmission line or the towers, then we find these kinds of surge voltage. Whenever we do the switching operation, that switching gives again the formation of the transient called a surge voltage. So the effect of that surge voltage is severe in all the power apparatus. It affects to all the power apparatus which are there connected between the generating plant to the load center. The response of a power apparatus to this impulse or surge voltage completely depends on the capacitances between the coils of windings and between different phase windings of the multi-phase machines. So whatever the capacitances which are developed that basically decides the response of a power apparatus. The transient voltage distribution in the windings as a whole are generally very non-uniform and are complicated by traveling wave voltage oscillations set up within the windings. So the traveling waves which travels on the lines, the travels on the lines, and that oscillations, those voltage oscillations that is set up within the windings. In the actual design of an apparatus, it is of course necessary to consider the maximum voltage differences that is occurring. In each region at any instant of time after the application of an impulse and to take into account their durations, especially when they are less than one microsecond. In this surge voltage, it is basically represented with a waveform with rise time and tail time as one microsecond to 50 microsecond or 1.2 microsecond to 50 microsecond, where this one microsecond is the time where that surge arises to its peak value. And then, 50 microsecond indicates that the voltage reduces from its attainment of peak value to the 50% of its voltage. So this, these are time periods are as per standards as say one microsecond by 50 microsecond, 1.2 microsecond by 50 microsecond and so on. An experimental assessment of the dielectric strength. Dielectric strength means voltage or breakdown voltage per distance. So the experimental assessment of the dielectric strength of insulation against the power frequency voltages and surge voltages on samples of basic materials on more or less complex assemblies or on complete equipment must involve high voltage testing. So for this, we need to have the high voltage. Since the design of an electrical apparatus is based on the 
dielectric strength whatever the apparatus is being used or it is using in the power system is basically tested based on the dielectric strength basically it indicates the insulating strength and whether the strength is low then that particular apparatus must be replaced by a good apparatus the design cannot be completely relied upon that particular design cannot be relied and unless experimentally tested and for the testing purpose that particular equipment must be tested now high voltage testing is done by generating the voltages and measuring them in a laboratory so for that purpose there is need to generate the voltage and it must be tested in the laboratory so this high voltage testing is done on component parts elaborate insulation assemblies and complete full scale prototype apparatus called as development testing called as development testing it is possible to build up a considerable stock of design information so that design information can be taken or it can be collected so that accordingly that the steps can be taken although it is expensive such data can be very useful it is expensive but that data is very very useful however such data can never rely really be complete to cover all future designs and necessitates use of large factors of safety there are definitely more number of factors which decides the safety of the apparatus as well as the operator a different approach to the problem is exact calculation of dielectric strength of any insulation arrangement in ideal design each part of dielectric would be uniformly stressed at a maximum value which it will safely withstand so if that particular material withstand on this dielectric then it can be used for the application purpose such an ideal condition is impossible and that is to achieve in practice for dielectrics of different electrical strengths due to practical limitations of construction nevertheless it provides information on stress concentration factors the ratios of maximum local voltage gradients to the mean value in the adjacent regions of the relative uniform stress a survey of typical power apparatus designs suggest that factors ranging from 2 to 5 can occur in practice when this factor is high considerable quantities of insulation must be used finally improvements can be affected in the following ways first by shaping the conductors to reduce the stress concentrations by insertion of higher dielectric strength insulation at high stress points and by selection of materials of appropriate permittivities to obtain more uniform voltage gradients so that's all with this understanding of surge voltage their distribution and control hope you understood this particular topic from this particular chapter so thank you so much guys take care